Okay, what is up there YouTube? This is J Man Time and today I have a video on what could possibly be the oldest remaining Soviet warship still in service anywhere in the world. And when I say in service, I mean frontline service as in they still serve in a major navy. And these two vessels are the oldest warships in the North Korean Navy that have been in service since 1938. And these two vessels belong to the Soviet Fugas class or Fugas class of mine sweeping and mine laying corvettes that were built between 1935 and 1938. Many of us know that North Korea has a very antiquated navy. At least most of their ships are either old Soviet vessels from the Korean War or mid Cold War era or Soviet vessels that were built in the very late 1980s or even some Chinese vessels from the 1990s. But the many don't know that North Korea actually does have two World War II veteran warships in their navy. And these ships belong to the Soviet Fugas class, also known as the trial class of mine sweeping corvettes that were built in Leningrad between the years 1935 and 1938. And those two ships are the T-2 Tros, also known in North Korea as the Minesweeper number 671, and the T-8 Cheka, also known in North Korea as the Minesweeper number 511, or the Minesweeper number 1003. And these ships entered service with the North Korean Navy at the very end of the Korean War in 1953. Now the Fugas class of mine sweeping slash mine laying corvette were built during Stalin's reconstruction period of the 1920s through 1930s where the Soviet Union were rebuilding their navy. In 1935, these two ships were laid down and they were finally completed between the years 1936 and 1938, entering the Soviet Navy in the same year of 1938, both in the Baltic Sea and later on in the Soviet Far East. When World War II began in 1939, they went into action against the Axis navies of Germany, Finland, and a few other nations operating in the Baltic Sea region. And later on, after World War II, they would be given to North Korea. Now keep in mind, in 1945, Korea as a whole was part of the Imperial Japanese Empire. And in the same year of 1945, during the last year of World War II, the Soviet Union would declare war on the Empire of Japan. During this time period, the Soviet Red Army would help to clear Japanese forces, the remaining Japanese forces from China, mainly Manchuria, and also from Korea. After World War II, Korea was divided between the Soviet and British and American forces. Along the 38th parallel, and the northern half of Korea would be named North Korea in the year of 1946-1947. The Soviet forces would later pull out, and Kim Il-sung would become the first leader of North Korea. In 1950, the Korean War would begin when the North Koreans would invade South Korea. And during the Korean War, the North Korean Navy would suffer a large number of defeats to the point where it barely even existed by 1952. Later on, the Soviet Union would start replacing many of the lost North Korean warships with some of their old surplus World War II vessels, including the old Fugas class minesweepers. And this is when the T-2 Tros and the T-8 Cheka were transferred to the North Korean Navy in 1953 during the last year of the Korean War. They would serve in the North Korean Navy until the 1980s when they were decommissioned temporarily between the mid-80s and early 1990s. Sometime in the early 1990s between 1991 and 1992, these ships were recommissioned during the era of Kim Jong-il who succeeded Kim Il-sung when Kim Il-sung died, and they would continue serving in the North Korean Navy all the way up until this modern day in the year of 2022. Both ships still serve in different capacities. The T-2 Tros, renamed the North Korean Minesweeper number 671, is a frontline vessel serving in the North Korean Navy as both a minesweeper and patrol vessel, while her sister ship, the T-8 Cheka, was decommissioned in 2005 from frontline use and is currently being used 
as either a training ship or a storage hulk for the North Korean Navy, most likely as a training vessel as she does appear in satellite images of the North Korean Navy based in Najing Harbor. So let's go over the specification of these two old World War II vintage vessels. The Fugaz class or trail class of mine sweeping slash mine laying corvettes had a displacement of between 410 and 503 tons. They were diesel powered warships and they were powered by two Soviet made Type 42 BMRN 6 diesel engines powering two shafts. These vessels had a speed of 17.8 knots and they had a crew of 44. The main armament of these vessels are one 100mm Soviet made B24 BM main gun or main deck gun. They were also fitted with three one barrel 37mm Soviet made 70k anti aircraft auto cannons, which were the Soviet the Type 61 anti aircraft auto cannon that also served with the Soviet Army during the Second World War. They are also fitted with four 12.7mm DSHK heavy machine guns. They also have two depth charge racks, which can hold upwards to 20 depth charges, and two mine laying racks that can hold upwards to 31 naval mines, and they are also fitted with mine sweeping equipment and gear. The ships have a crew of 44, and these two vessels are literally the oldest vessels or warships still serving in the North Korean Navy to this day, although in different capacities. And that's kind of it. These vessels are some of the oldest warships still serving. There's only about maybe eight or so vessels. There's only a few World War II vintage vessels that might actually be older than these two vessels still serving in any Navy across the planet. Now, in terms of World War II vintage vessels in Asia, there's not that many left. In the Chinese Navy, there's a few old World War II vintage Soviet destroyers, but these have already been decommissioned over a decade ago and are currently being used as museum ships or floating museum ships. But most other World War II vessels in Asia have basically been scrapped with the exception of China, Thailand, and a few other nations. So to have a World War II vessel still serving on the front lines in a major navy is something to see in 2021. These two vessels also inspired North Korea's first domestically produced warships, the Sariwan class of mine sweeping and mine laying corvettes that were constructed between the years of 1966 and 1969 and are also still serving in the North Korean Navy to this day. And they also inspired the Najin class of small naval frigates that served in the North Korean Navy that were constructed in the early to mid 1970s. So these two old World War II ventured Soviet vessels kind of inspired the North Koreans to build their own warships. North Korea is still building their own corvettes and frigates to this very day. But the old Soviet to Fugaz class, also known as the Type 53 class of corvette of mine sweeping mine laying corvettes are the oldest World War II vintage warships still serving in Asia and the oldest warships still serving in the North Korean Navy. So what do you all think of this? Please tell me in the comments section below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off.